will be joining them. Will it be Leeds Rhinos? Will it be Wigan Warriors? And we get the second semi-final of the Betfred Women's Challenge Cup 2023 underway with Leeds kicking off and the ball picked up by Becky Greenfield for the first carry of the game. And this is the first potential opportunity of points we've seen in this game so far. Thompson on the angle, tries to lay off a little ball herself. Molly Jones collects it, but that ball has gone forward. The referee right on the spot, right in front of him, but pressure from Wigan. Yeah, they really want it, don't they? You can just tell that they are really turning up for each other. First contact's great. Uh, but the, but first contact's good, but then they're falling off, and they seem to be making those yards after tackle, so they need to, they need to clean that up. Bennett comes back towards the centre of the field with Anderson. Three. Really Three sending points. him on like battering rams, a wave of battering rams Three. at that defensive Three. line of leads at the moment, hoping it will crack. Here's Hardcastle now, looks for the step, there's half a gap there, and she can exploit it if anybody can, she can! Now is that ball down? The referee says it is. And Leeds get off the mark with Amy Hardcastle, kick to come, they lead 4-0. In the area coming from Barry Salee to give them the possession back leads Rhinos and Amy Hardcastle when she runs from that near into the line she must take some stopping yeah you're not stopping Amy there it's very very difficult to stop her and they give it a good go they try to get under the ball but Amy is an experienced try scorer she knows how to put the ball over the whitewash and uh, yeah she managed to find it there hits the defensive line with the shoulder and makes sure she gets that down for what is her well 10 tries in nine games she's on fine try and scoring form Three. She's brought down, but still that pressure building on the Leeds line. Dwyer, the dummy runner goes through, but banks with that possession to Vicky Molyneux. Just caught around the legs, but Wigan still going, looking for that quick play of the ball. Have they got it with Thompson? Can she get away through? She can't, but she can offload to Salihi. And Wigan hit back, keeping the ball alive, keeping it moving along the line. And it's Barry Salihi, the 17-year-old, gets the first try for Wigan. She really, really deserves that try. She's been doing, I've been wondering why they've been putting her through the middle, but she's a really, really strong runner, uh, and she really just deserved that. And a great offload from Rachel Err, again, showing her experience, going into the line, turning around and offloading that ball. Uh, great try. When Vic Molyneux goes into a tackle, she, she slows the rook down, and, and it slows any momentum, um, and, and it... I'd hope that other players are on the, in the Wigan team are, are learning from that, because it, it really is shutting down Leeds Rhino's momentum. Bennett to Casey, takes on the line, great timing, and here goes Caitlin Beavers. Beavers has got Salihi to beat, and Beavers' experience does the rest, and she gets that try, crucially behind the post. And with points being so few and far between, already you ask, how big a try will that be for Leeds Rhinos? It's absolutely massive. That They're going to look at the scoreboard now, and it'll be in their favour, and that's what they'll expect to see. They won't be as shocked. They can start to obviously. They, the, my, my, my concern is that they need to carry on playing like that. The, the try come off the winger from Wigan sitting in. She actually put her arm out at one point to look like she was wanting to intercept. Um, but they've just got to be cautious on that because Caitlin Beavers is a phenomenal player and, and she'll do that with you all the time. Set restart called again by the referee. Murray coming back in on the angle. Just outside the 10. Pressure building from the Rhinos. Greening to Dainton. Still Bit one. of a stutter. His Still one. Yes, yep, the try coming in from Leeds Rhinos. Tara Moxon taking the pass from Hannah Butcher. And suddenly back to back tries from Leeds Rhinos, but a different reflection on this game. And they open it for 10 point advantage. Yeah, and, and they're the, just the, the playing to it now. They're realising where the errors are and they're the shipping the ball. Um, and they're shipping the ball wide because Wigan have been very, very strong in the centre field. Um, if you look, they're very, very... I was concerned at how deep Dayton was, but she's just, again, she's just looking at which player comes to her. And, and great work from Hannah Butcher there. She could have easily passed that ball early and made it very difficult for a winger. She holds on to it, she draws the player, and then she passes. Really clever. Two. And Leeds right, will be keen to keep that scoreboard ticking over now. They've finally go, broken that deadlock in the second half. Casey, here's Hardcastle, but she's hit Molyneux, who stands the ground. The tackle's completed. Bennett again. Calling for it. Northrop held back. And a penalty. Penalty given to Can Eloise Haywood. Get her second successful conversion of the afternoon. 
Yes, she can. Flags go up. Hayward adds the two. Leads lead by 12. Look like she's going to try and offload as well, but couldn't get her arms free to do it. This is the last of the set. Here's Banks, chip over the top. Haywood can't take it, it comes free. Banks, can she take it? Yes, she can. But that will be the last action of this second semi-final. And it will be Leeds Rhinos that go through to Wembley on the 12th of August to meet St. Helens in what will be a historic final for Women's Rugby League, beating Wigan by 16 points to four. It was a steady performance from the Rhinos, Tara Stanley, but in the end, their experience told.